Hi, Cinexoft here. I'm going to walk through Transmart Vega S89 Android TV Box user interface. Uh, but first, I'll show a bit uh, about the remote. At the top, you've got the power button, here mute, and you have some shortcuts for media, music, web, and apps, uh, volume control, uh, some trick modes for video playback, home button, return the arrows on OK key, menu, uh, mouse mode that you control uh, with the arrows, I hate this kind of thing, and uh, the digits here. Uh, I've connected the box, uh, this box, with HDMI, Ethernet, uh, the audio, oh this is the power, uh, this is the uh, audio video output composite and stereo audio and I also added a melee F10 um, a dongle is an air mouse not, not included with the box but sometimes when I need to use the mouse it's convenient so to get started you need to press the power button at the back it's, it's a little hard and then you've got an a blue LED lighting up and you've got the Transmart logo Mbox animation. I just hide a bit. Okay. All right, and we get in case they won't come down. Uh, we get a Windows like menu. I'm going to go through with the default remote control, I'll try. So we've got online video, we've got Netflix, YouTube and XBMC, uh, recommended or favorite, uh, they should have called it favorite and by default is Skype on Miracast. Uh, we'll go to setting in detail a little later, my apps, the list of apps, they have a few pre-installed, uh, the Google Apps, they've got a 4K movie player, I'll have to try that, MX player, uh, Miracast, Quick Office, Skype, and a few more. Uh, you've got a music menu, I think it's only to a music app for now, there's not much there to do, I don't have music yet, I don't have music on the local device and then we can go to play local files with the gallery, the movie player and the file brother. Again I'm not going to use this, I'm just going to use ES File Explorer when I need to copy files. At the bottom you got some favorites uh, pre-installed, uh, Explorer, File Manager, Gary, 4K Player, uh, what is it? Uh, Google Play Store, <laughs> XBMC and you can add your own here. I don't know which one, calculator, favorite application, calculator, and go back, and you've got the calculator here, okay. Uh, I'll go to the setting first, and after I'll run XBMC quickly, just to look at the frame rate and the resolution. All right, so the settings is a custom, is a custom interface as well. You can select between Ethernet and Wi-Fi. I'll do most of the tests with Ethernet, but I'll use Wi-Fi to, as well to test the performance. For the display, it will detect the best resolution for my TV, 1080p at 60Hz. And you can select whether you want to hide uh, the status bar or not. And control uh, the screen size. Uh oh okay um, then there is a screen saver at the bottom which you can disable or run every four eight or ten minutes advanced uh, you can set uh, run miracast uh, use a remote control app I haven't checked yet okay you've got CEC controls uh, to use your TV remote I don't think my TV 
can support this and then you can select your location uh, that's nice but it's only in Chinese uh, all locations is in mainland China or in Hong Kong or Macau so uh, yeah it's useless same here and then you have some other options and for people who are care about path through you can change detail output to PCM it's a don't sampling or SPDIF or HDMI path through and others you get the model number with Vega S89 Android version is 4.4.2 uh, kernel version is uh, relatively recent is 3.10 uh, we already get the source uh, from AM logic but maybe it has to be modified uh, to run on the Vega I mean we don't have direct source from for the Vega S89 uh, otherwise there is an online update that does not work so I think this is uh, will never work on more settings is uh, default Android menu I'm not sure why it's like this it looks like it's a full interface uh, usually is you have the left uh, on the left you have this menu and on the right you have the details but here it's like this uh, it's not particularly interesting uh, not many things you would use uh, I will show the storage apparently they have mostly one big partition which is nice and there is currently 5.34 gigabyte left if I go down uh, developer options uh, are not enabled by default so I went to the menu to check this and if I go to about media box okay, I get the same Android version and the build and yeah it's KitKat uh, maybe I, I, I've got some people sometimes ask me about accessibility so this is enabled and the uh, languages okay this is Android so you've got uh, you've got lots of different languages. Okay. On the other one, like display, you you get nothing. You better get the custom, uh, custom menu for this. Okay, that's about all for now. Okay, and now I'll just start. To conclude, I'll start XBMC. So you see, there is an OK button at the top. I, I cannot use the remote to click. Uh, so I'm switching to the Melee F10 here to have a mouse and remove this. Uh, when it, okay, if you go to System, oops, it's not okay. Appearance System. No, it's not. Yeah, I want to. Uh, if you go to System Info, uh, all right, we'll see. We get one gigabyte free, and the screen resolution is 1080p. Okay, the frame rate is not as fast as I would have liked, but this perfectly usable. About 26 frames per second. And for some reason, they didn't use XBMC 13, but they went straight to XBMC 14 Alpha 1. So will it work as expected? I don't know. Okay. I'll probably use XBMC for testing videos. Unless I can, I cannot find a way to... Uh, I, I, can, I cannot find a way to detect hardware or software decoding. Okay. And to exit... Okay, need to use this. Done. Uh, okay, just one more thing. The power button on the remote uh, will simply put the device in standby. Okay, and if you press again, okay, the screen comes. Um, so I, I haven't tried to press a long time, but it's the same. 
you cannot turn off the box completely with the remote if you want to turn off the not turn off the box uh, you have to go at the back and press a few seconds and it works alright that's all for now thanks for watching bye bye